Just imagine effortlessly compressing a video from 1 GB to just 100 MB without sacrificing its quality. Yes, it is possible with WinX Video Converter. But that's not all. You can edit, cut, crop, merge and add subtitles to the video and fix parameters like bitrate, frame rates, etc. This powerful tool supports 4K formats including MP4, MKV, AVI, FLV, HEVC, H.264, MOV file, MP3 and more 370 plus formats. You can even convert high quality photos to normal JPEG formats and videos from high-end devices like smartphones, action cameras, drones, DSLRs and surveillance cameras. Surprisingly, WinX Video Converter lets you to convert videos from URLs. It works seamlessly on both Windows and Mac OS. So let's dive into it. How to use it and what are the features of this tool. So first of all, what you need to do that is uh, access the website the link will be given in the description just download from here you can download the free trial version else you can buy full license and the best part of the website is 30 days money back guarantee if you don't like the software you can cancel the subscription pack and you can get back your full amount within 30 days of the purchase you can just download from there okay i have already downloaded just minimizing the browser and just open the software okay the user interface of the software is very cool here is the video option if you click here the video adding option will be there from here you can add photos to convert and it is a clear button and it is the options like your language and how many cores of your pc it will use and many more options and output folder snapshot folder you can just edit as per your requirements just click on done and here is the hardware acceleration intel nvidia amd all hardware accelerations are there with this software and the destination folder will be like this if you want to change just browse here and you can change this accordingly okay just first of all just open a video to edit okay i have selected a video and after selecting the video you can see that recommended setting is showing there and here is the wheel where you can adjust the video quality it will be medium or high quality if you select high quality the rendering time will be slow and if you put it low quality then the rendering will be faster than before and medium is recommended okay now let's come to the next point here's the general profiles the general profiles includes 4k mp for videos 2k whatever you can select but here it is recommended okay if you just drop down a little bit you can find so many options like you can even convert a normal video to hevc for iphone and ipads many options are there if you go to music you can convert it to mp3 that is recommended aac ac3 iphone ringtone whatever you want you can just convert it okay this is the apple devices if you want to convert any video Video to your Apple devices just select this Apple device option and here you will find the profiles in iPhone profiles you can find many options are there and iPhone models are also here included here is iPad profiles can also get the Apple TV devices so many options are there if you go back here you can find Android pads the options for Android pads different different company profiles are there you can choose from there and here is the Android mobile micro of devices sony devices blackberry nokia etc even you can convert your videos for youtube facebook vimo video general website video pc whatever you can if you want to convert dvd profiles you can also convert let me choose youtube video generally youtube video is recommended as mp4 but you can select mp4 aplv whatever but mp4 is always recommended just put it to high quality and just click on ok ok your profiling has been done now you can just rename the file also here here is the targeted file and the name should be like this if you edit this name the name will be here here the general of the video i have put as take shudama english that is my channel's name just click on ok it's ok now well good to go if you want to change the profile just click on the settings icon and you will go to here you can change the aspect ratio to frame rate if you want to change the frame rate you can just change if you keep the frame rate original then the video quality will not be decreased it will remain same okay here's the video converter codec by default it is h264 video resolution if you want to change the resolution you can do 
but keep original will keep the original resolution the audio coder whatever all are here recommended but you can change if you choose the bitrate higher the video quality will be higher side and if you choose the bitrate lower then the video size will be lower and if you want to click on default it will go default don't click on default just click on ok if you are applied to all the files selected here then just click on apply to all okay it is done now you can edit this video by clicking here okay here so you friends, can add first of all, just here, here it is the general browser. section and search if you want to adjust the volume just click here and volume now is zero if you, you can adjust it to nine up to 20 20 times of the normal video okay then the subtitle sections if you want to add subtitle just enable the subtitle and here check extra just click on add and you can add your subtitle if you want to crop the video just go to here enable crop and and you can adjust the video area okay it is by default it is selected like this but you can edit as per your convenience okay if you want to reset just reset it it will remain as before if you want to trim any part of your video then just click here enable trim and drag this clip like this and like this just it is trimmed just click on ok done it is trimmed now now after doing everything if you want to play the video how the video will look you can just play here and your video will appear like this now if you want to merge all the videos to one video just click on here merge it will merge all the videos now if you just click on run okay it will start it you will have to wait here to complete it 100% and if I go to the task manager just see it is not using too much of my system resources CPU uses are normal 31% is normal and 36% of RAM uses you can see the software is very much optimized so if you want to try this software the link will be given in the description you can check from there and here is a special offer for Black Friday sale if you buy one software you will get one free